Okay, but it's 70 pounds per square inch now. And the boiler's holding up really, really well. Like I said in the previous video, it was tested to 250 psi of air. And these big TIG welds are pretty strong. So as a welder, I'm saying that there's a integrity to this boiler, or this com old compressor tank. I wouldn't use one without testing it thoroughly and having proper safety valves. I have two on this. This is a 90 popper there and there's a 140 on it as well in case one fails. And we're heating it on the element because we've got free hydro here so until we get the propane test going tomorrow that's what we're going to use. We're at 70 and I've put back on the uh, stepper motor, the small 2 inch by 2 inch stepper motor here it's hooked up to the voltmeter in a crude band to the uh, shaft, output shaft. Now this is extremely high voltage, it's AC going through a rectifier and we'll read it out over there. So we'll see what kind of voltage, it's going to be over 100 volts going through this. So. Two, one. I'm trying to adjust the uh, steam input here and be more efficient with my steam, get it up to speed, then increase the steam a little bit. So I hear the speed rise up again as the pressure is dropping to 45. We're getting 81 volts right now. 75, 72. Increase the speed. PSI now, 160 volts, so it's 75 milliamps, so I'm going to get a bigger stepper motor than this. Get the rest of the steam out of here. Consistently turning over 120 volts, so let's see what it levels out to as the pressure drops in the tank and it Elements can't generate enough power, so 50 volts. Hold on. And pressure in the boiler is gone now. So we are going to have to generate the steam quicker than this. And that will be open flame 